Alright guys, Zachman18 here, and this is the return of Gaming with Zach and Bob today. As you guys saw before, we did a Gaming with Zach and Bob episode for Card Sharks for our special return today. So I thought for the return of uh, my solo show, Gaming with Zach, I thought I would play uh, my favorite game of the year so far. It was just released a few, about a month ago, actually. This is Watch Dogs. You guys may have heard of it before already. Um, it's a really fun game. I enjoy it. Uh, it's gotten okay reviews. The PC version has a little has had a little bit of problems, so uh, there might be quite a bit of lag in this episode, and I apologize. But I really wanted to show some gameplay off for you guys. Um, the graphics may not look as great because I have them on pretty low graphic quality, um, with a couple things turned up a little bit. But uh, the main point of this is just to show you guys gameplay, and if you guys want to see more of this for Gaming with Zach later this summer, just let me know. So I'm not going to do actually any of the story in this. I'm actually just going to free roam around and just kind of show you guys kind of the whole the whole nitwits and all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, this is this won't be the only game I'll be playing this summer. Me and Bob will be playing lots of other games as well. Um, and then we're going to have a gaming with Zach and Bob. I'm pretty sure about once every week. So, but I'll be playing a bunch of different games for you guys this summer. So uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, I'll let it load and let's play some Watch Dogs. Alright guys, here we go. We're jumping into Watch Dogs right now. So this game takes place in kind of a near future Chicago. And uh, the Chicago uh, runs on this operating system that's mentioned right here, CTOS. And what this guy can do, his name is Aiden Pierce. And he can, if we open up our profiler here, we can use our smartphone to hack into anything. We can see everybody's profiles. She's an expert rock climber. And uh, so with some people, you can actually hack in and... Uh, and uh, get some of their money to get from an ATM so you can add it to your uh, own personal stocks so it's kind of a vigilante slash enemy in kind of a way which is what I kinda of like about him he's he's a little bit good and bad but uh, he's had some tough times in the past and the story is pretty interesting as well so but uh, but yeah I think we're gonna cause just a little a little bit of mayhem here just kinda of walk around and see what's going on here um, so if we take a look at our map here. This is our map of the whole game. Uh, the this is the whole thing of Chicago. It's very big. Uh, I'll go ahead and zoom out here. So it kind of stretches out. It's in a bunch of districts. So we got Pawnee, Mad Mile, The Loop, uh, Brandon Docks, uh, The Wards, and Parker Square. So Parker Square is where you start off. Uh, we have different hideouts here, and I'm going to go ahead and show you one of the hideouts here in a little bit. Actually, I'll just go ahead and fast travel to it right now. You can fast travel to any of your hideouts that you can get. Uh, you can use the hideouts to uh, save your game um, or anything like that. Uh, so, let's go ahead and uh, bunker access. Purpose unknown. Huh. I never saw that before. But anyways, we're going to go inside of here. It gets, it gets quite a bit laggy loading into this. I'll just talk while this happens. Um, so yeah, you just use your smartphone to your advantage and use the whole city as your weapon. You can hack traffic lights, uh, police blockers, all kinds of stuff. It's The, the possibilities are endless. Um, you can do all sorts of things. Just hack steam pipes. Um, when you're ever, whenever you're in a police chase or uh, there's a bunch of enemies chasing you through the cars, uh, you can use your phone as your advantage to neutralize them through a traffic light, a steam pipe, or a bunch of other things. I think it's a very unique idea for a game, and uh, yeah, so I'll go ahead and show you guys our uh, hideout here. Um, you get this at Act 2 of the game, which I'm on right now. I'm actually almost done with Act 2. There's five acts in all. Um, so if we go down here, this is kind of our base of operations, so we can see pretty much everything that's going on in Chicago in this uh, in this one hideout. So. And not all the hideouts are like this. This is actually the only hideout that's like this. But, um... Because this is kind of the main base where uh, him and uh, the female protagonist, Clara Lyle, um, I think that's how you pronounce her name, um, they're kind of working together on this now. So I think they're developing a relationship against each other. So yeah, it's a, it's a very uh, big story. Um, I'm not, I don't want to spoil too much of the story for you guys because I really do want you guys to play this because this really is a great game. I love the game a whole bunch. Um, Graphics-wise, it's 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 okay for me because I have to play for as low graphic quality. And I really only care about the fun of the game when it comes to these types of games, these big uh, types of games like this. 
Um, so we'll, we'll, actually, I'll go ahead and show you this. This is our smartphone menu. We can look at our progression bar here. I'm about 20. So yeah, I got. I'm 25% I'm in the game right now. Uh, there's a lot of collectibles. This is the main missions. I'm on mission 11 of Act 2. Um, there's a bunch of side missions you can do as well. I've got 20 out of 20 on those. I've done a couple gang hideouts. I haven't done any of these because they're pretty tough, but I'll definitely get to those pre uh, pretty soon. Um, there's a lot of other investigation stuff you can find around the city as well. Got our, I got all the CTOS towers and the audio logs and stuff. Um, online stuff as well you can get for playing all the online stuff. Online's pretty fun. Uh, little mini games you, you can do. Shell game, which I've tried a couple times. Uh, poker I played a little bit. Haven't gotten the things for them yet. Chess I haven't done. Cash runs pretty fun as well. Uh, I probably should show one of the uh, digital trips in this uh, ep in this episode too. Um, and then we can go to our skills tree here. I've got uh, zero skill points because I spent them all. Um, but you can earn much more throughout the game. I'm, I, I think I need to upgrade a little bit more on combat. Uh, crafted items I'm okay on. Uh, driving, pretty good. Hacking is kind of the main one I focus on. As you can see, I've unlocked a lot of stuff for hacking. Uh, so this one I can disrupt the enemy communications uh, whenever they're trying to find me. Uh, use trans overload transformers and create large electrical explosions. Oh wow, okay. So I might need to get that one soon. Uh, you can disable the helicopter for a moderate amount of time. I might get that soon as well. Not quite sure what I want to do with that yet. The blockers I already have up. That's one of my favorites. So, Go to our stats here. I'm level 22 right now out of 50. Um, I'm about, let's see, about uh, 1,500 away from uh, leveling up, 1,400. Uh, my total money, I have $128,000 right now. You can get so much more from uh, hacking people's bank accounts. And uh, my reputation is a vigilante. Civilians are less likely to report you, and you will show up far less frequently in news broadcasts. Uh, but they do mention on the radio that he's kind of a vigilante, and citizens are trying to protect him and all. So, anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it for the uh, for that kind of section. Just the statistics there. Dead sec field guide. You can take a look at all the uh, all the. It's kind of a basically the rule book of how everything works and all that stuff. Uh, leaderboards, online session, bunch of online stuff. Cars on demand, you can request cars to spawn. Uh, we can do digital trips, audio logs you can listen to. So there's a lot of there's a lot of things you can do in this. So I think we'll go, jump into a digital trip here. Um, there's a couple I've done. I've done the psychedelic. These are these are really cool. Um, and there's the spider tank. We're gonna show the spider tank because it's a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and play it. They're pretty sweet. I'm not sure how, how laggy this is going to be, but uh, I do want to show you guys some gameplay. So yeah, you play as this giant spider tank and you just cause as much destruction as you can around Chicago. Very satisfying to play. Um, it's what, it, it, it may very well be my favorite digital trip so far. I haven't tried the uh, three of them, so I need to check out those ones soon. Um, I'm kind of mainly focusing on the story for now, but uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and jump into Spider Tank here, and I'll show a little bit of gameplay for this. I'll show about, yeah, I'll, uh, I just want to make this kind of a quick 20 minute episode, don't want to make this too long, because I do want to get this uploaded in time for you guys to see. And uh, let me know, and let us know in the comments below what kind of games you guys want to see us play this summer as well for Gaming with Zach and Bob, Gaming with Bob, or Gaming with Zach. Um, we love taking your guys' requests, and also uh, follow us on all our social medias as well, uh, so you guys can can get can hopefully uh, get some exclusive content from us. <laughs> so I'll be running the Facebook page, and Bob will be running the Twitter page, and add us on Google Plus because we'll be doing live streams as well. All right. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna be sweet. Oh my God. Let's do this. Alright. Explode the car. Let's go. And... Bam! Hold on, I gotta turn my camera. Ah! <laughs> yeah, it starts out a bit laggy, but... Each action consumes your energy gauge. 
So you got our points in the top left there. Oh my god, I'm getting shot at. Got that one done. And smash. Woohoo! Gotta get some more cops. Shoot. Yeah, you guys wanna go? Let's go. Ah! System integrity, 25%. I think a sharp turn here. Where are these other cops over here? Oh, did I die? I guess so. Alright, well that wasn't too bad. We got 97,400. Climbing walls gives you a better angle to destroy helicopters. See, I can climb over walls and stuff. It's pretty crazy, so... So let's see what our stuff is. We killed 14 cops, destroyed 9 vehicles, completed one objective, which is not very good, but uh, I haven't played it a whole bunch, so... Two unused skill points, that's pretty sweet. So we have our own skill tree for uh, for the spider tank, that's pretty sweet. Um, hydraulic claw, the spider claw costs less. Upgraded chain gun. faster. Alright, I'm going to go with the claw. And I'll also go with this one, overloaded. But uh, we're going to go ahead and wake up now. But that's a cool little look at that. Really fun uh, activity you can do there. So uh, that's an idea of, one, of what one of the digital trips looks like. It's basically just uh, quite a few fun mini games you can play. Um, yeah, there's a lot of extra things you can do in this game, so uh, if you don't want to focus on the story all the time, there's always something for you to do in Chicago, so. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's, it's a pretty simple concept from, from, how, from, the, from the, amount of, uh, the amount of the game I've played so far, so. So let's go ahead and load back into our main game. So, uh, all right, so we're out of the digital trip now. I just wanted to show you guys these. These are hidden around, uh, a lot of these are hidden around the city. It's Slenderman. There's a lot of these Slenderman graffiti things around town, which is 
kind of a weird Easter egg, but uh, oh, I should probably show this to end off the episode. So these are these little crime detected things. So you can uh, there's a there's, there's small little crimes that you can help solve. Oh my gosh! Now my game is lagging quite a bit. <laughs> Come on. Alright, well, let's go ahead and show off uh, the driving in this game. So we'll pick a car. Let's go with a simple one here. So we'll have to pick it up behind here. Oops. <laughs> ah, come on. Yeah. Probably won't do a whole lot of gameplay of this for YouTube, but... Oh, better uh, turn the radio off. I don't want to get a copyright notice. Oh, come on. Yeah, be careful. Be careful! God dang it! Did I injure... Okay, I just injured them. That's alright. Oh my god. Why is it so laggy? Oh man, this is like a rare occasion. Maybe I'll just have to go on foot. Anyways, the driving is smooth in this game when I'm not recording. <laughs> Oh my god, come on. If I can get a lot of money from her, how much do I get out of her? Hey, 15,000. Uh, we don't need to hack that guy because he's got just a potential, another potential crime. We're going to go after this one over here. Alright, so I'm going to get there and uh, we'll be right back. Alright, so here it is. So he's the guy that is our going to be our potential criminal. So we can't let him see us. Uh oh. Here's the... So we got our pistol out. You screwed up big time. You went to the cops, didn't you? Stop! This your business, so fuck off! Now we gotta chase him! Run! Yeah, I think we're a little bit faster than him, so... Ah, crud. Oh, I got him! Okay, good. So you press F to take down. If it'll show it. <laughs> there we go. So, we took down the criminal. Why is the music still playing? Okay. <laughs> So, after completing one of those, your uh, reputation increases as you can see on the top right there. So we'll hack this last person here, who's got a lot of money apparently. Alright, cool. Let's see how much money we got in. 12900 So yeah, you can get a lot of money after that. Alright, let's go ahead and end this episode off with... Find some, uh, find an energy drink. This energy drink yeah, will uh, increase your focus skill that you get in the game. So have a sip of it. <laughs> I like all the magazines that they have there. 
so it increases your focus. You can see on the on the bottom left there. So, <laughs> nope. All right, so guys, that is gonna do it for our first episode of Gaming with Zach for this summer. Uh, a lot more episodes to come if you guys enjoy this first episode and you guys are. Uh, if you guys are interested in this game, it's on Steam right now for $59.99. It's a, it's, a, it's a big, big game, and I recommend all of you guys get this because it's a lot of fun. So uh, if you like having a lot of control in a game, this is definitely a game for you. So thank you guys for watching. This has been Gaming with Zach for Watch Dogs on the PC. If you guys enjoyed this episode of Gaming with Zach, you know what to do. Give this video a big thumbs up. Also, guys, like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter and add us on Google+. And uh, also subscribe to me and Bob on YouTube and subscribe to this channel as well for more awesome videos. Thanks guys for watching. And as always, this is Gaming with Zach and Bob. We play your favorite games so you don't have to.